Hi there everyone! Welcome to Colour Inspiration Challenge 160, 160. Uh, my name is Monica Formosa and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in the Wide Bay area of Queensland, Australia. And Colour Inspiration Challenge 160 has just kicked off over on Facebook. Um, you do not need a blog if to participate in this and you do not need to use current stamping up product. We do ask though that the majority of your projects do include stamping up product, but um, use whatever you have in your stash pretty much and you and use all the colors in your project. And if you don't have those colors as close as you can, you, you, you can substitute colors out uh, if you don't have them, but use something very similar. Okay, so, these are the colors for this challenge. We've got these lovely pastels. It kind of threw me a bit because I kind of do like to have a stronger color amongst all the all the softer ones. But anyway, I got there in the end. Um, so for this challenge, what I'm going to use are the Chic dies, which coordinates with the season season of chic stamp set. I'm not using the stamp set today, but I are I am using the uh, a couple of the leaves, a couple of the different leaves. Uh, this outline flower and the little um, piece that goes in underneath. I am using this embossing folder here and for the life of me it has the name has escaped me you elegant eucalyptus 3d it comes in a set of two so it has this one and then it has another one that has um like a cascading kind of foliage arrangement so that's what i'm using there it is a 3D embossing folder, so if, if you want to use this one, you will need your specialty plate. Okay, um, I will just mention that. Um, all right, so that's there. What else do I need? I am going to use three of the inks, Highland Heather, Lemon Lily, and Bubble Bath. So I'll be, and I'll be doing a little ink blending. So I've got my blending brushes here. Um, so that's, that's there. And I've got my little box of embellishments because I'm not quite sure which way I'm gonna go here. Okay, so I have die cut a little bit to save a little bit of time. Um, I have a landscape top fold in the soft sea foam. I have a matte layer in Highland Heather and that's been cut down to a quarter of an inch smaller on two sides than my card front. And then my basic white, which has been embossed, it goes down, I think an eighth of an inch smaller than the Highland Heather layer. All right, um, there's no wrong or right. You, you do your layers um, as you, as you like uh, because my card base is actually a custom card base so I just mentioned how much smaller I have cut it down um, you know go to your centimeters and uh, if that's all your metric measurements if that's what you prefer okay so I'm going to get a little bit of scrap paper here and to begin with these are all my die cuts here. So I've die cut the backgrounds of the flowers and then the detail bits. Three of those. Oh, I've actually done four and I've got one just as a spare because you just never know. I've cut um, two of these leaves in, in um, the balmy blue. Uh, these are actually smaller leaves in the soft sea foam 
leaves can be blue, right? In my garden, they can be. In, well, in this garden, they can be. And some white, some white leaves and, my, and a, spare, a spare flower, just in case. All right, so to begin with, I'm going to blend a little bit of ink. I'll just move them out the road. I'm going to add a little bit of ink to the backgrounds of these flowers. Move that out the road. Very, very gently. Just to add a little bit of color. Go lightly because you can always add more, but you can't take that ink away. All right. So that's probably enough of the Highland Heather. Um, I will go Lemon Lolly. If you have the smaller blending brushes, like this is the smaller size, this is the larger size, this is probably a better way to go about it for this particular job. Um, I don't have many of these, although I do have a pink one. So just making sure yep okay so we're going to add a little bit of lemon lolly to the middle of that one close the lid on that and then get my bubble bath and add a little bit of bubble bath this is quite a light color, so there we go. All right, so just this hint of color underneath all that. So that's done. I'll just take my scrap paper away so I don't get distracted. Okay, now. I'm going to add a little bit of glue now, just a teeny tiny drop in the larger spots. I want to see if I can get in here. Oh. Oh. Now, these do line up. The challenge will be to see if I can get it. Nope. There we go. And there's a tiny little bit of glue there, but that's and that's that's basically what we're aiming for. It just gives a soft, del delicate hint of color underneath that dye on top. Once again, let me see if I can figure out which way this goes down here like so. Once you've done the first one, you can kind of then copy the rest, but that first one can be a bit tricky. All right. And lucky last, Lemon Lolly. I'm really only putting a drop of glue and that's really all I need. Uh, this glue is quite strong. Bring that.
There we go. Oops, of course I had to move it. Okay, so there are our three flowers all done. I want to um, layer this up on the Highland Heather. Like so, you have a little tiny border. I just find turning it over helps me. That's not straight, but it's straight enough. And then we will add this to the card front. This die and emboss, embossing folder does kind of have a bit of a right way and a wrong way. I don't think it really matters. And it's really personal preference. Okay, so now what I want to do is add all these lovely dies over the top. Oh. And I will get my dimensionals. Alright, so you kind of, I want to add these under here like so. So I think I might start with the flowers. Um, I don't know whether I might bring these down and that goes in there like that. And then these ones. Maybe. Oops, kind of like that. That's what I'm aiming for. Anyway, okay, so let's go. I will get some dimensionals. Where are my dimensionals? Now I color the backs of my dimensionals. I think I've mentioned that before. Um, mainly because I like to know whether or not I've taken the backs off them. All right, let's take them away. Um, I'm just wondering whether I should put purple in the centre because it's got the purple mat, the Highland Heather. And we will, oh, that's not, that's moved. There we go. That has stuck there now. Um, I'm just turning this around so we're not looking at the same, the same pattern. Okay, there we go. And then it's just a matter of gluing these in. You can use um, liquid glue, you can use your glue dots. So. You might want to fast forward this bit, guys. It can be a bit, where's my, be a bit boring watching me. Um, paste these down. How's everyone's day been? Uh, which way will I go? I'm hoping that um, we're all busy getting organized for on stage at the moment. 
which is Stampin' Up's big convention that happens every year. So that's exciting. Where do I go here? Hmm. No, I don't like that. I kind of want that to come down a bit further. I need more glue. I don't like that. Yeah. But then it covers that up. There we go. I might need another um, another leaf maybe. Don't do. Yep. Okay. I think I'm gonna just really quickly, where are my dies? I have put them somewhere safe. Really quickly die cut another another white leaf, I think. It's kind of looking a bit. And I do like odd numbers rather than kind of. All right, I need to trim that off. Okay, so hint guys, if it doesn't quite fit where you want it to fit, or we'll tuck in as far as you want it to tuck in, just trim. There would it go up here? Maybe up there. There we go. All right, so there we have it. Um, I, oops, it's not gonna stick now because I cut that bit off where the glue was. So let's add a little bit more glue and we'll just tuck that in there. Um, I have just, let me see what embellishments I'm going to grab. Um, like we've got the brushed, brushed brass. I've got the new ones. Where are those new, the new purple ones? Maybe those, the new purple ones. Let's grab them. I think we'll look nice. I have got a little bit of glue here oops okay take this end these are so cute these um what are they called? These are the new purple fine shimmer gems that are in just that are in the current mini catalogue. Um, they're gorgeous and they come in the three colours. I'm guessing um, Highland Heather Gorgeous Grape and the um, Blackberry Bliss. kind of want this to go over here so I've got my triangle happening there we go there's our card I'm not going to put a sentiment on there I think I'll wait until I have an occasion and we're done easy peasy just a really delicate um, touch of color underneath those flowers on that layer the flat the um, bottom layer of the flowers which is highlighted you could go in and probably add a little bit of Winker Stella to those top die cuts if you if you like but there you go and leaves in this garden can be blue there's nothing wrong with that um, it can, they can be any color you like really 
in my opinion. Oh, let me show you the inside. So for the inside, what I did is I layered the um, basic white on the Highland Heather again and die cut uh, an extra flower and a couple of leaves and then just stuck them, stuck them down and trimmed them off before I layered it up on top of the on top of the other Highland Heather cardstock. And that's that's the inside. That just brings the design to the middle of the card, which I think is quite nice. All right, awesome. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please go and check out our Facebook group uh, if you are on Facebook. Um, the, um, the, the design team um, are a lovely bunch of ladies, very creative in their in their card making and we've also been lucky enough to have one or two um, um, artisans in our team as well so it's always lovely to know that um, um, our girls are good enough to be able to be on that artisan team so yeah it's nice okay guys that's it from me you have a great couple of weeks see you probably in a fortnight time um i do i am doing um other videos now so and i'm going to try and get back into my lives it's just things are life is just a little bit hectic at the moment so um you know you've got to you got to work with what you can and and use your time as as you can so that's it that's my card hope you like that and i hope you're inspired all right bye for now